Uh, and then we got this. Alderman, former alderman of the south side of Milwaukee, Bob Donovan, is running for mayor of Milwaukee. It, you know, I like Bob. He ain't going to fucking win, though. But let's let's kind of go over the shit anyway. And Bob will probably do a better job than Tom Barrett. But Bob has the same old tired south side playbook that has lost the Republicans elections for 50 years in Milwaukee. Bob does not want to go to the hood. Bob does not want to straight up embrace some of these black people that can help him win. Bob is not going to endorse the right people that can help him win an election. Bob got ignorant ass supporters and I got into a got into it with a couple of them on social media. One little one little dude, his name is Hilario. Um, uh, uh, Rosino or, or Rosario, whatever the fuck his name is. And he tried to challenge my credibility when I said, you know, and I was actually talking about before when I, I met with Bob and, and reached out to a couple of his people or whatever in the past. And this time, you know, I gave Hilario some shit to do for me to tell them about me and they never reached back out. And I just said, because if you can't even return fucking messages in, in Facebook Messenger, you not gonna win no election anyway. So that was my main, that was my main thing with with, you know with Bob Donovan you know, running for mayor. And a, a little bit off of that though, but that was kind of my thing. Like motherfuckers was trying to call me a liar and, and trying to say all this shit or whatever to me. I didn't reach out to anybody like a motherfucker is with me 24 hours a day. And I'm talking about you, Hilario, you know, and, and the only reason I didn't really go in on, on his goofy ass is out of respect for my boy, Ed Delgado. But let me break something down because he didn't know when to shut the fuck up on social media. So I'm glad he did end up shutting the fuck up because if he wouldn't have, I would embarrass his motherfucking ass. Don't ever call me to fuck out. I'm a grown ass man. And you could have called me before you had issues. Now, we haven't talked since then and we don't have no drama or whatever. But I'm just telling you, like, that's kind of my point. You got a motherfucker that's supposed to be helping with the campaign or whatever. That's attacking people on social media that could befriend you and attacking somebody that actually has a bit of a bit of uh, people that listen to what I do. And you just ostracize. Well, I'm smart enough not to ostracize Bob. I know Bob actually would be a hell of a mayor. With that said, though, you know, I'm not going to hold the fact that Hilario didn't use his brain again because there has been other instances where Hilario has done a little bit too much in regard to as far as things he think are a good idea. In regard to as far as historically, black people don't really like to reenact the civil war and, and slavery and all that shit. We don't, you know, we remember what happened, but we don't really see that as damn, you know, that was an awesome time for, for America. This is the same motherfucker that wanted to do a civil war reenactment on like fifth and North Avenue in the hood. That's all I need to say. So before you come at me, and before you you try to take a shot at me on social media, and this is not just Hilario fuck fool ass. This is anybody. I don't play that shit. And I really didn't go in on Hilario. I could. I'm not going to. I I didn't talk to I didn't talk to one or two people that have worked with him that know him that 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 say he's a good kid and I think he is a good kid. But that motherfucker ever say anything else about me, he going to see me at one of these events. And then we're going to talk man to man straight up. And I ain't going to beat his ass, but I guarantee you that motherfucker going to be shook. And I'm going to tell his ass what time it is. Don't ever fucking try to call me out again, Hilario.